Alright guys, so what I primarily want to talk about in this workout here, which is back and shoulders by the way, is uh, my future plans, like with my physique, uh, with this bulk that I'm on, with an upcoming cut, is there one, how long will it be, and just competing in the future in general, and uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Before I get into all that, as you see, I am hitting back and shoulders here, and um, my split, it stays the same in terms of I'm hitting a muscle group, I'm hitting each muscle group twice a week, every single week, but it changes in which muscle groups I'll hit together on each day. So real quick, for instance, right after my competition, I was hitting chest and back together, and then I was hitting delts, buys, and tries together, and then legs, and then I would repeat those three days and then take an off day, so six days on, one day off. So then I tweaked it a little bit after a few months actually, I love that split, but it got old like a lot of things, and I ended up hitting chest and shoulders together, and then I would hit um, back, buys and tries, and then legs, repeat, off. Now I switched it, maybe for the last time in a while, because I, I want to try to, I try to stay to a, a split for a decent amount of time, I recommend you do that you want to progress at that split but after a while if you're really milking that split for all your progression and you're mentally getting used to it and you kind of want to change the pace i suggest you switch it up so with that said this week i started out with legs day two i did chest buys and tries day three which was today i did back and shoulders and i'm going to repeat that and take an off day so six days on one day off and so far i really like it i think i like back and shoulders together because i can hit my traps and not have to worry about them um, with carryover on any other days. Also, I like hitting my buys and tries together, so this gives me an opportunity to do that with chest, and I feel like I can get away with three exercises on chest is actually optimal for me. So there's not like an overload of volume on one day, and I'm still hitting everything twice a week, so the frequency is there. I have a good feeling I'm gonna keep this split for a while, just like I do a lot of splits. But um, yeah, this is my back and shoulders day, guys. But yeah, for future plans, really what I'm gonna focus on until I'd say March is my goal, is just keeping my weight around here. This morning, I had a morning weight of 193, pretty heavy weigh-in. Um, definitely could be due in part to the fact that I just have a lot of extra food in my GI tract. I could have not, um, you know, been fully digested every had fully digested everything yet and that will make you weigh a little bit more plus holding water maybe it had a little extra creatine so i'm really fluctuating in like a five pound rate weight range but 193 this morning was a good solid heavy weigh-in um, i'm actually pleased with how i look given that weigh-in but my goal is to pretty much hover around the same leanness level if i get heavier um so be it but i'm not going to force myself to get heavier if that makes sense and kind of keep this uh type of physique while making progress and gaining muscle until at least March at the very least that's my goal so that way I'll have um, an opportunity to get a nice solid 10 month bulk after this contest prep that as you all know I rebounded hard on I haven't talked about that a lot but rebounded very quickly very very quick 30 pounds 40 pounds rebound in a matter of a few months but I'm finally at the point now where I'm just saying excuse my French fuck it I need to make gains and um I wanted a full year, I wanted to go to next May guys, but just being realistic about it, I think I'm gonna have to call it at March and shred up. I'm gonna see what I look like at 160. To be honest, I think I'll have a much, much different 160 pound package than I did of January 2015. Um, because I was 160 when I started my prep and I cut down there on my, cell, on my own from 175 in the fall of 2015, I believe in my senior year of high school, but um, I think I'll look a lot different. Well, I know I'll look a lot different at 160 this this time around. And if I'm content at 160, I'll just reverse out of that and get back to making gains. I might get a little bit lower because I want to be lean for the summer. I like being lean. And um, pretty much for the remainder of my lifting career, I know for a fact that my weight changes and my bulks will not be nearly as drastic. And also I'm going to stay lean in the future just because that's what I enjoy so taking these 10 months um, hovering around this body fat while growing I'm um, not really pushing weight gain because I don't need to gain body weight right now but definitely continuing to get stronger and um, seeing what I look like in March um, eating a good amount because my appetite is real high but not like pushing it you know I don't really have any desires anymore I'm past that 
point of, you know, I'm still hungry from prep. I'm so past that. Um, really no cravings at all. But um, yeah, until March, it's gains. I want to get my lifts up. I want to get my bench to 275. I don't know how realistic that is, but hit 230 recently for, um, what was it, two sets of six. And I'm repping 205 for 11, 185 after all those sets for like 14. So I, I'm definitely making uh, strength gains there. Um, so that's why I say at 160, it's going to be a much different package. Um, and I probably will be content with that level of leanness, but we'll see when we get there. So that's the plan cut, guys. March 2016, lean for the spring, lean for the summer. There will be a whole series on that. It's going to be sick. I'm going to get aesthetic as hell. And uh, it's going to be a dope spring, summer 2016. But until then, big numbers in the gym, big gains, and uh, making solid progress. All right, guys. Until the next video, I will see you then. Peace out, comment, like, subscribe. Later.